Making your own beer at home can be fun and easy and a way to make beer that you can't get in your local area. Craft a Brew has came up with a new program where you can actually sign up for it and they will send you a new kit each month. Now this kit you cannot get online. You have to be part of the Craft Society to get this. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the first one which is an Imperial Stout. Let's get into it. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. So this is the first kit from Craft A Brew. This is part of the Craft Society. This is an Imperial Stout. On the actual side of the kit, this is an extract with specialty grains. Uh, it does say our ABV is going to be 7.8. SRM is 45. IBUs is 62. Original Gravity is 1070 or 1.077 it does tell us the hops summit and cascade specialty grains uh, chocolate caramel 20l roasted barley flaked oats and black malt yeast is going to be us05 or so4 additional ingredients this is where it gets kind of fun uh, it's going to have coffee Cacao nibs, vanilla, chili pepper blend, and candied sugar. So let's go ahead and open this up. I have not looked at this, so I do not know everything that's in here. Like most of the actual of actual kits, you do get a sheet that tells you pretty much exactly what to do. So if you're new to home brewing, uh, by following this sheet, you should have no problem going through it. We will go through this on brew day and just make sure everything is correct by the instructions that they give you. This does say it's ready in five weeks. And then it also does have the ABV, SRM, and IBUs on there. Obviously, we can't test the IBUs, but we can test the gravity as we'll take measurements while we're going. It does tell you uh, brew day what to do, brewing the next three weeks, and bottling day. I'm not going to go through all this. Uh, we'll just see what's in here. But I just wanted to go over some of the stuff that they are laying out for you. So if you're new to home brewing <clears throat> or if you're not sure about this, you can uh, rely on the paper that's in there. Now, this is special. I don't know if it's special to craft a brew, but most of the times you do not get yeast in any of the kits, at least in any of the other ones. Uh, I did contact them to see what kind of yeast was recommended for this because I was going to go pick it up, but it does come with SO4. So that's good. You do not have to go out and buy your own yeast. Just in this, uh, the first thing is dark candied sugar. Um, and it also tells you when to put this in. Uh, right on the package itself, stir in five minutes left uh, in the boil, <clears throat> fully dissolved. Now I have, I am part of the Facebook group for the Craft uh, Society and one person was asking, you know, do you take it off the heat to put this in? Uh, do you leave it on the heat? Because with extracts, you really don't want to leave stuff on the heat because if uh, like the, the DME, if that gets to the bottom or something like that, or if you're using a syrup, and it goes directly to the bottom, it can scorch. So we'll see what we want to do or if the directions do tell us, but I don't think they do, when and how we should put this in. <clears throat> uh, so here is some dried malt extract and a bigger thing of dried malt extract. Uh, this is uh, 6.25 pounds and this is... 1.25 pounds so obviously we have seven and a half pounds of uh dme total um and these do not tell us when to put them in i'm pretty sure 
Yeah, these do not have a tag on them. The hops, this is the Summit, and it does have a sticker on here that tells us that we are gonna put this in at 60 minutes into the boil. Our Cascade, add to boil wart, two minutes left in the boil. Um, you do kind of want to use a lot of hops or you want the IBUs to be up there in a stout just to balance it out. Some, most of your stouts, they're going to be a higher IBU than most standard IPAs. But uh, it does tell you the alpha acids on mine, it's 7. And then on the summit, it's 18. And you get... A mystery or a mystery bag a, you get a cloth so that way you can put your specialty grains in which I forgot the other box so I will be right back okay I'm back I thought I had it sitting over here but I didn't so uh, in the, so that's everything that's in the main box then you do get a secondary box and this will have all your other stuff so as per the side of this this should be your chocolate, your caramel, your roasted barley, your flaked oats, and black malt. Oh, it does have a hole in it. I could have done that. Uh, but obviously, I can see the flaked oats. So that's going to be all that stuff. And that is going to go into our bag and steep in our water as it's heating up. Uh, we do have a bag of coffee. Um, they are whole beans for the most part. Uh, after two weeks of uh, fermentation, add in add the mixture into the fermenter, let age, age one week. And here is another bag of the same specialty grains. And that is it. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing the, the chili pepper blend the cocoa nibs and the vanilla I'm sorry they're in here if I read what was actually on the thing so everything is in here that you're going to put into secondary now um, again I am part of their Facebook group somebody did ask what you should do to this if you should put this in a vodka or a bourbon to soak because normally that's what you would do if you were adding it to secondary. I think I will unless they come back and say no, don't do that. Uh, I will get with them and I will check the Facebook group to see what they say. But I think because this is sealed doesn't mean it's safe and I do believe it should go into some type of alcohol so that way it can sterilize, it can soak, and it'll up the ABV just a tiny bit. So I'm, I'm excited. I have not brewed with some of these kits. Usually I don't do extract, but I do believe you can make good beer with any kind of extract kit or um, going the all grain way. And also, this is a fun way to learn new techniques if you haven't been brewing that long or if you've been brewing long. Now, the thing is, like I said in my last video, we are not sure what the next kit will be. You get one every month as long as you're signed up and you keep paying. So next month could be something completely different. I do not know... And I will read over the instructions and we'll go over it during brew day if there's a technique or, and they call it out in these or if it's here you go, here's your stuff, go with it. I know one thing, I've not used chili peppers before in a beer so it'll be interesting to see what that does to the beer. But yeah, overall, I think it's a good kit and thank you to Craft a Brew for sending me this. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will post the, the site to craft a brew where you can check this out. So if you want to brew it with me, you can. We will have a brew day. I'll probably do a secondary uh, when I add that just to let you guys know what I do. <coughs> excuse me. What I do with um, the coffee 
and the other adjuncts that are in here uh, if I put them in bourbon or if I just dump them directly in. Then we will also have a tasting like I normally do. So yeah, again, thank you to Craft a Brew for sending this. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing. <laughs>